Plus, how rehabilitation exercises meant for humans are being used to help animals. Gail has the story. Hi, Gail. Yes, it was in uh, my magazine, U.S. News & World Report, Report. Alternative medicine goes mainstream. Save me from knee surgery. But what about your pets? Will it work on them? We'll find out at a unique facility in Southern California when we come back. Well, this Saturday, um, you can actually get a free mobility screening for your pooch. It's all part of the Pause in Motion event, and Gail Anderson is live in Santa Monica with a preview. Hi, Gail. This makes me, uh, well, I'm excited because in my magazine, U.S. News & World Report, they talked about alternative medicine goes mainstream. Well, now it's gone mainstream for pets. We're at a facility here in Santa Monica known as California Animal Rehabilitation, the first pet rehabilitation center in Southern California. And we're going to chit-chat this morning with Dr. Jessica Waldman. She's there with Tate, who's actually doing something good for him. And we're going to talk with uh, Dr. Amy Kramer, who's with Dino. Now, I want to explain that Dr. Jessica Waldman is a veterinarian. Correct? I'm a veterinarian. All right. Dr. Amy Kramer is a physical therapist who used to work with people, now pets. What caused the transition? Uh, knee surgery with my own dog caused uh, uh, my transition from people to pets because uh, she didn't get back full function afterwards, and I worked on her a little bit, and I thought, why isn't anyone doing this? <laughs> now, look at Dino here. Dino is actually doing something special. Now, I know it looks like Dino's just eating a treat, but take a look at this <laughs> clip. You know how we take Pilates classes to stretch and lengthen our mus muscles and to get some um, flexibility? That's what Dino's doing? Yep, Dino is doing a hip stretch. It's called an active hip stretch. So you can see he's actually getting a good stretch in his hip muscles here. And uh, this is also core strengthening and it's helping him weight bear through his front limbs. Just like people. Just like people. All right, let us give you some information because you can learn the kind of thing I'm learning this morning. I have no clue and I have three dogs. This is where we are. Saturday. You can come here for free and get an evaluation. Would that be correct, Dr. Jessica? That's correct. We are doing evaluations for pets. We're going to watch how they walk, and we're going to watch how they... Look, he's stretching. Stretch. He's doing downward dog. Good. Yeah, good downward dog. That's perfect. That's a good back stretch, Tate. So we're going to do evaluations, and we're going to show people how to do some stretching and talk a little bit about lifestyle and mm -hmm. how to keep your pet living long and feeling healthy. And, of course, as with people, that includes nutritional issues as well. All right, so let me let you uh, watch what's going on here. We'll have more issues for you throughout the hour. Think acupuncture, think pool therapy, How whatever cute. we do to get ourselves back on our feet, they're doing it for pets. I love it. Back Excellent. To the All right, thank Thanks, you so Gail. much, Gail.